Neural Film AI is a neural network-based film emulation tool designed to give your images accurate film-like appearance. You can export the grades created by Neural Film AI as LUTs, XMP profiles, or Capture One styles. Unlike film emulation LUTs, which use a fixed set of edits at all times, Neural Film AI makes smart changes to your image. Every image is graded differently depending on the image's content and color information. For example, if your image already has a certain level of saturation, Neural Film AI will not affect that aspect of the image. For every image processed through Neural Film AI, Film AI will offer five film-like grades. You can use Neural Film AI suggestions as is or as a starting point for your grade. You can use Neural Film AI both on the light and pro plans. To use Neural Film AI, begin by loading an image and selecting the appropriate input and output transforms. Your input transform should match your source image and the output transform should match your monitor. If you are using a RAW file from a still camera, Film AI will automatically select the appropriate input transform for you. It is important that you select the correct input transform as this will affect the image analysis performed by the Neural Film AI tool. Now we are ready to add Neural Film AI to our image. To do so, simply click on the Neural Film AI tool under the Controls tab on the left-hand side of the app. As soon as you do that, Neural Film AI will analyze your image and offer five film-like grades. Please note, if your image was overexposed or underexposed, for example, Neural Film AI will not correct your image unlike our Neural Tone AI tool. Instead, Neural Film AI tool will respect the original characteristics of your image but make it appear as if it was shot on film. It is useful to think of Neural Film AI tool as following. It is your image only shot on film. You can manually resize the thumbnails column for a better preview and you can also collapse the previous column once you have selected a look for unobstructed view of your image. Once the analysis is complete and Neural Film AI has created the color grading suggestions, these suggestions are saved in the app so that they are instantly available next time you load the image. If you save a Neural Film AI grade as a candidate and use that candidate to copy the grade over to another image, the very same grade will be copied over without further analysis of the second image. If you wish to analyze the second image and have Neural Film AI create new grades based on the context of that image, please click on the Regenerate button in the Neural Film AI tool. If you change the position of the Neural Film AI tool in relation to the other tools, Film AI will not recalculate the result in the new position. To recalculate the results in the new position, click on the Regenerate button. You can change various parameters non-destructively within the Neural Film AI tool for more flexibility and faster workflow. If you wish to balance your image before applying the Neural Film AI, it's not necessary to add additional tools before applying the Neural Film AI as the controls available within the tool itself will allow you to balance most images easily and quickly. If you change any of the parameters, the thumbnails preview for all Neural Film AI generated grades are updated and the new settings are applied to all looks. At the bottom of the Neural Film AI tool, you'll find two additional controls, Film Softness and Film Grain. Film Grain controls the amount of filmic grain in your image. Increasing the value will increase the amount of filmic grain present in your image. Softness Offset controls several analog characteristics at once, such as gate weave, acutance, and chromatic aberration. Increasing the value will increase the effect on your image. Positive and negative values of the softness slider have the same effect on the image except for the direction of the chromatic aberration refraction. While these effects are present in the graded image, they cannot be exported in a LUT, XMP profile, or Capture One style and therefore will be omitted at the time of the export. LUTs, XMP profiles, or Capture One styles will only contain the color information from the Neural Film AI tool. Neural Film AI can also be used to batch process your assets. To do so, click on the first asset that you wish to process, then hold the Shift key on your keyboard and click on the last item that you wish to process. With multiple assets selected, click on the contextual menu next to any one of the selected assets, select the Neural Film AI option and click on the desired AI model. Film AI will process all your assets using the selected AI model. However, 
All other results will also be calculated should you wish to use them at a later stage. With multiple assets still selected, you can use the Compare View option to see all of the results NeuralFilm AI has created for you. To do so, click on the contextual menu next to any one of the selected assets and select the Compare View option. If you wish to make changes to any one of the created grades, you can double-click the image in the Compare View to load it and make your edits as needed. If you're happy with the results, we suggest saving your newly created grades as candidates. This will make sure that your grades are safely stored. To do so, with multiple assets still selected, click on the contextual menu next to any one of the selected assets and select the Save as a Candidate option. Filmai will save all of your created grades as candidates. At this point, you might want to save your graded images or export your newly created grades as LUTs, XMP profiles, or Capture One styles. Let's see how we can export our newly created grade and bring it into Lightroom, Capture One, and Premiere Pro. First, we'll cover the XMP profile export option for Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw. To export an XMP profile, go to the Download XMP Profile tab and name your profile. Optionally, you can assign your profile a group name so that it appears in a group of its own once imported into Lightroom. Once ready, click on Export. Inside Lightroom, go to the Edit tab, then click on the Profile Browser option. Then, click on the Import Profiles option and browse for the profile you exported from Filmei. Finally, click on Import. Your newly imported profile appears in the Profile Browser. To apply the profile, simply click on it. At the top, you can adjust the profile's intensity using the Amount slider. Now, let's cover the Capture One Style Export option. To export a Capture One Style, go to the Download Capture One Style tab and name your style. Select your camera make and the type of images you will be working with in Capture One. Finally, select your operating system as the Mac and Windows styles are not interchangeable. To install the style, Extract the zip file and double-click the co-style file. This will install the style into Capture One. For more installation options, please visit the video linked above. Finally, let's cover a LUT export option for Premiere Pro. To export a LUT, go to the Download the LUT tab, name your LUT and make sure that both toggles are turned on. Finally, click on Export. If we examine the name of the exported LUT, we can see that it expects a Sony S-Log3 footage and it outputs a Rec709 image. That's because these were the input and output transforms we used in Filmai and we selected to include these transforms in the LUT that we created. Therefore, when using this specific LUT in Premiere Pro, we'll want to apply it directly to the log footage coming from the Sony camera. To adapt this very same LUT for a different camera, all you have to do is select a different input transform and re-export the LUT. To apply the LUT in Premiere Pro, go to the Lumetri panel and browse for the LUT that you've just created. We suggest applying the LUT under the Creative section of the Lumetri panel or to an adjustment layer placed at the top of your timeline. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our YouTube channel to learn more about Filmei. Until next time, keep creating cool stuff.